Hello. Let's do it. So I know yesterday's um I know yesterday's video was a little strange. Uh and like it was kind of a bummer because that was a fucking incredible run. I got hit one time on that entire run. Uh and that was Stupidly, while I already had the Elder Blank during um, the Blobulord, I believe. Uh, I got the Seven Leaf Clover, I got all kinds of stuff. But, like, it's. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just gonna jump into it. It's fine. Like, I've been talking with uh, friends and family members and uh, a lot of people. I've been talking to Jackie's family a good deal. Uh, about all this, the, the George Floyd protests, um, and most of them are rehashing, reiterating the same idea, uh, and that is that uh, rioting solves nothing. Rioting is disgracing the memory of the um, the individual whose life was lost. Uh, it's putting a, a target on your back, showing that. Uh, you know, it, basically that the rioters, the, the, the response to the situation is, uh, is problematic and that the people who are rioting are, uh, thugs, that they're doing it wrong, um, that peaceful protests are the way to, to handle the situation. Minneapolis is burning, uh, they're, they're, other places that are in a bad way right now. Um, I'm sure that, uh, I'm not sure if Kansas City itself is burning. I have seen some pictures from the protests. Uh, I don't know if it's turned into a riot, um, but I support the rioters and I, I don't feel the need to, uh, to hold off and say that with a caveat and other things like that. This is a, this is desperate people reacting to a desperate situation in which months and months and months and months uh, of peaceful protests have gone on uh, and they've been condemned for it. Um, the Black Lives Matter protests that started, I think, in 2016. Um, uh, maybe 2015, 2016. Sorry, I just took a shower. I'm all itchy. Uh, those, there were some, there were some rioting, but there were also uh, numerous instances of peaceful protests, and I think the uh, the majority of them were peaceful. The kneeling of the uh, football players, the the comments by um, LeBron James, and uh, uh, the shorts worn worn by the Lakers, the the uh, award speech, fuck. Um, Award speeches given by black actors and actresses. Um, all of those were condemned for being too political and not the right way uh, to handle this situation. Um, they were shut down. People were essentially told that they were overreacting or encouraged to, you know, remember their place when, oh God, uh, they tried to, to protest through the normal channels. And so I've been talking to like Jackie's, Jackie's parents, I'm gonna still get hit on this one. Uh, Jackie's parents, I've been talking to, uh, oh, wow, a, a lot of friends uh, about this. And the idea is, the arguments range from a. Uh, that was it was really hard to keep talking about all that. Just lost all of it. Oh no. Okay. Um, we're all over the place, but mostly there's this sense that like the sense of vilifying the protesters, um, and I, I cannot stand for that. When people are pushed up against the wall, the the riot is is the final way of getting a voice heard. It is the final attempt. To, uh, to be listened to. It's not that people were just waiting at home ready to loot 
and are using this as uh, an excuse to fulfill their fantasies. There, there may be one or two people in that, but this is this is people fed up with being with being silenced, with being considered less than people, with you know their voices being squashed by the moneyed interests surrounding them. You and I cannot compete with billionaire corporations. Uh, dang, this sucks. Um, in order to, uh, we can't operate on the same level. People don't, people, I mean, like I did that protest video, it's gonna affect one person. Me, mostly. Uh, like, it's, it's gonna have no impact. Um, that doesn't, that doesn't mean I shouldn't do it, but it also doesn't mean that, like, I should sit at home and condemn the people who are out doing something. Like, they're not villains, they're not thugs, they're not bad people, they are people displaced and people who've lost all access to the right to, to speak. Peaceful protest didn't work. This is the next thing. It, it, it's... This is not a standalone incident that's taking place. This is a season of violence. This is years of police brutality. Like, this is systemic. This is a part of things functioning as they are going to unless there's a change. Like, George Floyd's killer, his killers, would be completely exonerated, completely exempt uh, if things continue the way they usually continue. There, there is no chance that the, uh, the Minneapolis Department of Justice or whatever is going to call him out for his crimes uh, with an equal and fitting response. And there's no, there's no way that it's going to be anything besides, uh, it's kind of squashed because it's happened so many times. It's taken months and months to get the barest reaction with video for other instances. There, there are police going, breaking into people's houses and shooting people and it's just, nothing's happening for, for long periods of time until, you know, and it seems like the hope is always to, to just wait it out. Just wait until the news isn't talking about it anymore and let it die. Let the let the story die. And this is the only way for people to get justice. For disenfranchised people to, to have a voice. And uh, who gives a fuck about a Target? Who gives a fuck about a, a Wendy's or whatever? Like, any business that's destroyed in this riot is covered by insurance. They are going to be okay. Uh, if you're concerned about property destruction instead of the loss of life. Like it is a it is a distraction to focus on the illegality of what's happening in terms of these riots. It is an uprising. It is people sick of not uh, of the standards being uh, so inconsistent. You know? Like why is it that people could uh, should be punished and put away for rioting, but a cop killed a guy and he was still sitting in his home. It isn't until this broke out to this degree that an arrest was made. It's like, it's pretty much saying it has to happen for, for justice to be served. Like, uh, how people can't understand that is, uh, I mean, I, I don't believe that people can't understand that. I believe that people want to turn the narrative and show that the minorities are still the problem. Like, the officer that killed George Floyd had a history of racist action. He had, this was not the first instance of him uh, targeting minorities and uh, behaving in a way that was um, over the line, that was not part of the uh, police code of conduct. Like, he did this, and he kept his job through all of those. Like, he still was out on the street with a, a fucking gun, 
commanding certain behaviors from people. Like, oh man, I, didn't, I thought I hit the dodge roll, but I didn't. This is the second time I got hit. I took a hit for the first time against the Blobby Lord. This guy was was told basically by the police force, by the city of Minneapolis, that he was allowed to continue doing what he was doing. Because he had done it before and there was no negative repercussion. Aw, oh, dang it. That, if that's not encouragement, then I don't know what is. He, I mean, I guess the, the further thing they could do is like give him a plaque that says, go on and beat up minorities. But other than that, he, there, there's not a whole lot of room for a... Uh, you know, for him to learn from his mistakes in the past, if they're if they're going around saying, "Nah, it's all right, you're still one of us, we got your back," like that's the problem. They have his back. Woo, that was a little risky. Um, it's a, it becomes a team sport, and the teams are all of the. Civilian, non, uh, unarmed population, or not unarmed, but like, it's the police versus everybody else in a situation like that. Like, that's the way they want to frame it, and that's. <laughs> oh, God, that guy just, just took himself out. Uh, that's great for them if they can, if, if it can be framed. Because then they, they, they have this whole, like, thin blue line mentality where they can, uh... Basically just think that they're the last, the last line of defense against the unruly masses. Instead of being, you know, all about serving and protecting, there's some armed militia... Willing to take out anybody who disagrees. Because they're, they're the heroes in a narrative that is not them being the heroes of the people, it's them versus the people. Like, I wish more people could understand that. Like, that's that's how they're they're viewing it in a lot of these things. Like, and if they have to kill a few people to prove that their word means more than the actions of others, then it's it's it all is you know it's part of the part of the package. Like, God damn this game this time. I'm gonna do this though. Key, please. Ah. Bunch of hearts. Whole bunch of hearts. Well, this run's gonna be a little rough. Yeah. Riots, destruction of property, via protesting to the loudest level. It is a natural reaction against a system that says that oppression is okay. That's like, there's no other way of thinking about it. Like, it's weird, right? Like, uh, I saw this tweet that was basically like, how is it that all these people can watch all these movies about <laughs> people standing up against injustice and uh, doing whatever it takes or whatever it means to get their voices heard. And then as long as it's like minorities doing it, they, they actually have a problem with it when it happens in real life. Like, the hero has never been the person that has just calmly sat at home while travesties were perpetuated, while, while crimes continued to act. But in reality, People don't want to talk about it. They don't want to think about it. Those guys... It's just it's silly movies. I mean, you don't you don't behave that way in reality. You need to calmly, docilely take a knee at a football game. Wait, wait, no, no. You need to protest by speaking when you have a public forum. No, 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 no. You need to... It, like, there's no... There's no options. That's, that's the fucking thing. There's nothing that's okay. 
Every other avenue is like fully blocked and has already been condemned for acting on. So what do they really want? They, they, like It just seems like they're saying, hey, we want you to shut up about it. We want you to be silent and not raise a fuss. We want you to just say America is great and then... Oh god, question it. Uh, maybe privately, but not at all. One of the things that uh, has almost made me like lose it, I shouldn't have bought that so soon, uh, almost made me lose it during this whole thing was a, a speech given by, uh, by Killer Mike of Run the Jewels. And that speech was touching as hell. He's like crying, he's losing it on stage because Atlanta's burning. It's, it's his hometown, you know? And he's saying, like, don't destroy your own home in order to, uh, to prove a point to these guys. And I, and I agree with him insofar as, like, you need to know who your targets are. You need to know who you're speaking up against. Man, my accuracy is terrible today. Um, but I disagree with uh, anybody that thinks that what he's implying by that is that we should be inactive. Damn it, fuck this snake. Oh shit, that was a really bad dodge. Eee. I'm to get there too fast. Don't eat it, thank you. Ah, oh, wow, that was close. Baby. There we go. That was a rough fight. And, like, I think that's the thing that makes me nervous. It was a very impromptu speech that Killer Mike gave. It was, uh, it was off the cuff. And it was still very fucking good and affecting. Like, it, it, it's one of the things that hit me the hardest. There are a few things that have hit me really hard during all this. Uh, one of the, one of the great things has been, uh, seeing the number of uh, I, I don't know a better way to, to say this, but like a number of people who don't have to be there protesting, standing arm in arm with the protesters. Number of uh, white men and women out with everybody, tired, sick, and disgusted by this thing. There, there's a photo of a police officer in Kansas City uh, holding a sign that says "End Police Brutality." His job is on the line. His reputation is on the line doing that. And he's doing the right fucking thing. Like, that's... That's necessary. Like... I'm not out protesting because of the same reason that I'm not back working. Uh, the coronavirus is still in full force. But for those that are, you have one million percent of my support. It is not even a question and it's like so I, I talked to uh, Jackie's mom today right Jackie's mom was saying she started off the conversation saying like Jackie's like strong-headed and overreacting and uh, you know she needs to not put herself in in danger and um, yada yada she's basically saying um, she, she was hinting that the people protesting were handling the situation poorly. Um, she's letting, letting it be known that it's not the right way to, way to go about things. And over the course of the conversation, I, uh, I basically told her that I fundamentally disagree with that assessment of the situation, that uh, the number of people condemning the protesters are, uh, are in essence encouraging 
the status quo. Like they're basically saying you should keep things the same. You shouldn't do don't don't be ridiculous. Don't do anything. Just go with the flow of things. will get fixed eventually somehow for some reason. But don't raise your voice too loud. Don't make a stink. Come on. That's not the American way. Like it's sad. And you know, I think about it a lot of times when I'm making uh, I'm making these videos or I'm uh, streaming or anything like that. I, I I know for a fact that I have lost viewers. Not that I have a, a huge number, but I have lost viewers for stating my opinion about gun reform, about uh, political matters in general. And honestly, I'm glad to have lost them. Uh, like, if when I was faced with someone saying something that I believe is fundamentally harmful to humanity as a whole, I decided I didn't want to talk about it because I, it might rub them the wrong way. It's a little bit too political. Um, then I, I will, I will have lost respect for myself eventually like you gotta do you gotta have those hard talks you gotta be willing to let people off because this shit matters man it's not a joke we're we're learning now that like everybody who's who doesn't want to make anything political oh what uh Dang, that sucks. I did not think that I was gonna get hit by that. Um, wow. Everybody whose whole fl platform is like, don't make anyone feel excluded. Keep them, keep, we got, it's not right for them to feel bad about holding certain beliefs. This, this shit is like, it's fundamental. Healthcare is fundamental. Like, uh, like, I was talking to uh, to Jackie's mom about things that I, I like. I kind of brought up to her that I don't think she's ever thought of. Like, I don't jog in my neighborhood. I don't even go on walks in my neighborhood without my wife or without. You know, I went on a few with with Nate. I don't do them alone because there's an inherent risk. If if I am the person who's walking around your neighborhood, looking at your house. Kind of checking things out, as, as my wife and I have been doing together for a lot of these walks. Uh, I'm suspicious. No matter what I'm wearing, no matter how well-spoken I might be, I am suspicious. My existence is suspicious. Uh, and, you know, you might know me and know that that's ridiculous because I've never shoplifted a thing in my life. I've never stolen from an individual or an institution. I've never, you know... I don't even fucking smoke weed. Like, it, it, it's insane. But, like, the difference is that I am, by existing, inherently suspicious. Um, so I don't do these things. Another example uh, my wife brought up is a lot of times we'll go to a uh, to a grocery store or a gas station or something like that. And she'll wear, she, she uses a backpack as her... Um, as like instead of a purse, damn that sucked. Uh, and I like I remember telling her, I was like, "Hey, take your backpack off, set it on the floor." And she's like, "Why? Why would I do that?" It's like, "Cause they're gonna think that you're gonna steal something." And she's like, "No, I've worn my backpack in this this gas station every single time I've come in here." And it's just it's a non thought to her. It doesn't. It's not something worth even noticing. It's never interacted with her that maybe people are going to be suspicious of uh, something she's doing. Like, and it's so weird to me. Like, it, it's, it's very, very much, like, unbelievable that people can just go out and be, you know? Uh... 
it really weirds me out to think that like you know there like a lot of this stuff that's not me bullshitting that's not me i mean i've had the thing where like i'm walking alone uh at night and there's a woman walking and i essentially uh have to make my presence no as known as possible right i have to make a lot of noise whistle not whistle like at her but like whistle a tune something like that uh in order to make sure she knows that i'm not trying to creep up on her like i have to go way way out of my way to make make it be as obvious as possible that uh there's nothing there's nothing suspicious about what i'm doing haha <laughs> i'm just a human being existing on this earth, earth, and oftentimes I'll go to the other side of the street. I'll uh, you know, change my path. I'll just stop and wait, uh, in a way that makes it clear that I'm like not pursuing them or anything like that. And that's fine. I'll, I'll do that forever. I, I think that that's like anything that eases this person's concern is worth doing. Um, but, you know, I, I think that that's like, like, I think her family member don't, they don't understand what privilege is. And I think that that, those are examples of privilege. Like, being able, oh fuck, that sucked. That really sucked. Uh, being able to just live your life and never be by nature suspicious. Like, I just am suspicious, the same way a woman might be beautiful, or a uh, person might be, like, elegant, or sophisticated, or debonair, or something. Suspicious is just a word that is applied to me. It's a, it's a coating that sits on top of my being, and I just have to live under that. And it's like, yeah, I get it. I've been taught from the start that that's like, that's just the way it is. Like, it, it's so weird because, you know, when, when those instances come up where uh, I'll say something to her about like wearing her backpack in a, uh, in a place of business or whatever, the surprise is like, is very genuine. She, she, she usually, like a lot of the time she'll get upset about it just realizing that it's something she's never had to think about. Um, and, you know, I, and I told her, we, we talked about this a little bit after I got off the phone with her mom, like, uh, there are plenty of things that I don't have to experience firsthand. Like, I, I've told her, I like, I, I go sometimes days without looking at the mirror. Oh, fuck, didn't get it fast enough. Uh, and that's true. Like, I will get up and go to work and barely look at the mirror. I'll look down at my shirt to make sure there's not stain on it or it's not too wrinkled or anything like that. But I don't worry about how my face is doing. And you know what? Neither does anybody else. Like, I don't have the pressure of uh, living up to anybody's expectation of how I should appear for the most part. That's something that women have to have to go through on a very frequent, frequent basis. Ooh, we got a, another blank. Perfect. And I get to just like, I am privileged in the in the way that I don't have to, uh, I don't have to ever consider that to the same degree. And it is a privilege. It's like, a, it, it's shitty. Like, but that's, that's privilege. It's when you can lead your entire life without dealing with some of the, uh, the basic stresses that people have to deal with every day sometimes. I don't know. And the only thing you can really do about it, about having that privilege, is be aware of it. You can remember it. Oh shit, wow. Uh, when it comes time to think about like, oh wait, I should keep this because there's that one, there's that chance that uh, 
It gets the chest one. I think I... no. It's like chest in it. Book of Controlled Demolition. Neat. Um... You know, and so after talking to her mom, her mom, her whole attitude changed. She went from basically saying like the protests are, uh, are, are a bigger problem than the, uh, than the killing to thinking that like maybe she should be talking to her family members about this. Maybe she should use some of the connections that she has to uh, to see how things are going and uh, maybe work on expanding like a forum for people to talk about this kind of stuff. Like, it was actually a very, uh, a very useful conversation by the end. And like, that's that's the reason that I don't believe that I should, damn. I should back down from these things. Like, I know that I'm not going to convince a lot of people of anything. Uh, I know that that's like, I don't have the reach to get that out. But maybe one person that I do get the issue across to has greater reach. Uh, and they're in a situation where they can really turn things around. What are you wearing? A shirt? A sweater? It's cold. Nice. You're wearing a sweater? It's just a hoodie. It's style just a hoodie. Hoodie style sweater. You're not the only one who can wear sweaters. Even though you think you are. What? Even though you think you are. What are you up to? Oh, bye. Do 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. And, and so, like like I said, like, talking to her other family members, being around them, like, her dad has been a pretty staunch Republican for his entire life. And he recently told her, damn, I'm going to jump over this again. Uh, he recently told her that he can't, he can't vote for Trump again. And I don't know that it's because of me, but he has said, said things like, you know, that poor man could have been my son-in-law. Like... And, you know, there's something we said, like, maybe it shouldn't, maybe it shouldn't take having someone in your family before you start caring about the plight of others. But man, whatever it takes to get there, once you're there, you can do the good. You know? Oh, come on! He's gonna live forever. Yeah, we're not even waiting on that one. We're gonna hate Iron Slug, but whatever. Damn it, dude. Damn it! What? Wow. That was all bad. Oh, right. Stuff's bigger now. Uh, you do 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 do. Yeah, if anybody's out there and they're wondering what they can, what they can do, because I know not everybody is going to protest. I, I'm not going to protest because there is a massive pandemic still breaking out of this test, and I still don't have health insurance. Um, he's bigger than usual. Oh, cool. Nice. But, uh, the main thing you can do is not to villainize the people who are rioting, the people who are protesting. Like, think about the desperation of their situation. People raise the question uh, all the time, like, if a woman it, it steals bread to feed her starving children, is she a criminal? And the answer according to the law is yes, send her in jail. 
take her kids from her. It doesn't matter what situation led her to being unable to afford food to feed her kids. There's no question of that. There's no question of like what systematically could have been wrong to lead her than that. She's obviously an unfit mother. Like, and I don't even want to get into a conversation about like, oh, oops, we're gonna have that about the uh, problems with like, you know, anti-abortion practices and stuff like that. Basically locking people in these positions and then condemning them for handling them, et cetera, et cetera. There's a, there's a, a bunch of discussions to be had. Um, but people re reacting to systemic racism with loud and boisterous voices going fully for the most effective... Ah, oh, shit. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Yikes, damn it. Taking the path of most impact. They will always have my support in a situation like this. Come on, dude. He's still on fire, nice. All these bosses have been very close. <laughs> oh, because I don't have any guns of any value. Ooh, the ability to stick. Doperoni, 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 doperoni. We're stealing the high caliber, so we're at one. Cursed items. So we're at a uh, one. Dang, that's big. Two, three. I see something. It's not working. Three curse, we could be at four in an instant. I'll switch over to uh, Mega Hand starting on the next floor. That sucks. <laughs> Stop taking dumb hits. Come on, get away from me! Hit. Fuck! Couldn't see it. Two rooms to go back through. This one is the one where I got hit. Excuse me? It's a little dark, don't you think? I hate how you can't shoot through those. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Take this path up for a third time. Damn. Man, that thing must have hit him like four times. Whoops, and he's gone. Not great. Oh, there was a, a black market on the last run, wasn't there? I'm gonna assume I'm gonna steal something, so I'm just gonna. Yeah. Four. Four curse. So we might start seeing jam guys, and that's uh potentially a little scary. Is our health? It's not good. Let's see. Oops. Let's see how this one does. Not a one-shot kill. Whoa. Mm. 
Not that good. I don't know what I want as my backup slot. good a key is good I, I i don't feel uh thrilled about any of my weapons right now dude the the baby good mimic if he could just go right all the way up to every enemy and touch touch them or you know use his open mouth for damage that'd be great because that freaking wrecks oh boy I got a I got a strong feeling that this is going to be a high priest situation. I don't know why, but I think it's mostly just because this run is is pretty. Maybe it's not underwhelming, but like it's sitting in a pretty big shadow right now. Last run was just too much. Maybe I just don't remember style bullets, but these all of these bullets seem fucking huge. God, there it is. Oh, it's a wallmonger, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Don't know what exactly I'll be using against him, but I got some ideas. Dang, dude. Why does it sound like there's a train outside? I wonder if there's helicopters. Oh, there probably are helicopters because of the protests in Seattle. Now that's gotta be a train. That's too train like. Train-tastic. Alright, let's do it. Um we're not gonna get anything with that. Damn. It's still a good weapon, right? I can't see his health. Ah, oh, wow, that was... I'm just gonna mark that down as complete and utter luck. I feel like I've used two blinks on every single boss thus far. And I'm happy to have done it. We will steal, we will buy a blank and open that chest. I'm so glad this one didn't get fully destroyed. I'm not sure how it even got partially destroyed if you want the, the a-hole truth. Mm. Mm. 
So if I think of that as just the ability to steal, it's not super worth it. But if I think about it as invincibility, it's probably worth stealing. I don't know if it was on the last floor that I stole it, though. I should just buy it. I'm pretty sure it might. It may have been that I was... that I stole it on the last floor. Neat. Should have waited. Oh well. Now there's like no way, right? There's too many rooms. Let's just go. This isn't the one. This is the one. I mean, we got enough garbage to keep selling, though. Whoa, dude. A little bit rude there. Don't you think? It's weird. Sorry, I'm so silent. I'm trying to. I'm trying to like formulate some thoughts about this whole thing, like. It's weird because I really hope that with everything that's going on with the pandemic, with the... Like, the only thing that, that one can hope from all of this is that there is some change, right? At the very least, there's some change in who's in certain positions. Uh, that we're not somehow still looking at four more years of this fucking... Nonsense. That's the very least I can hope for. But, uh, if not that, then, like, uh, at least maybe the protests will have some effect. At least maybe that'll, uh, the riots will, like, make it much, much less likely for this kind of. Vicious, awful nonsense to keep happening. Maybe, hopefully. Like, it's like I, I hope that because uh, because of this pandemic, at least the world will start treating these kind of situ. Oh wait, I have a map. Uh, they'll start taking some of these things more seriously. All you can hope is that there's some net positive at the end of all of this. And that's where I think I feel like that's where I am right now. Like if these riots and destruction lead to lead to actual change, then it's not worth it, but like that's the op that's the uh that's the best case scenario. The worst case scenario is the riots take place, George Floyd is dead, and uh, everyone in the country just goes back to the status quo. Like, they're just like, ah, well, that was a weird time. Wasn't that strange? You know that year when every imaginable tragedy took place? Wasn't that strange? It is strange. It's strange as shit. It's like fucking... God damn, I knew he was about to shoot too.
speak up. Just in general. If. Uh, if things, if wrong things are happening, speak up. God, what a shitty shop. What's Goopton got? Do not let the words of this shitty, shithead, shitty president make you feel that, like, you shouldn't speak. That if you protest, you're a son of a bitch. Like, that... The language he's used to describe people is so insane. And inconsistent and backwards and... Harmful. I don't know. Anyway. Lockdown's still going on strong. It's the 30th of uh, May. I don't know if uh, counties are going to open up. It hasn't really been a major topic of discussion recently, but... I haven't heard anything from... I haven't heard anything from work as of yet either, so... So I don't know how that whole situation is going. It's, it's... It's like not being discussed. There's like... It's weird. Everything was coronavirus. For a while. I mean, reasonably so. And now I don't... It's like people don't remember. I mean, it's not like they don't remember. Because, you know, you see a lot more masks than you would have seen otherwise. But... This could just be doing so much more damage. Not bad. I oh my. My focus has been just weird. I, I, I shouldn't have been there. I should have been back against the wall for that attack. But uh, I was up close trying to get the most damage per shot. Was I stand, standing close enough to hit? I think I was. Huh. Well. That's a shame. <laughs> That's a shame and a bummer. You guys remember Flint, Michigan? 2014. They, uh... Found out that, that the water was... Polluted. Due to gross incompetence. And, uh, it'd take a few million dollars to... Fix that whole thing, right? Get those people... Drinking again. Happy and healthy. Million dollars is not very much. Um, Point Michigan is still in 2020 
without a solution. That was an example of a peaceful protest. Where, you know... It just got, it got swamped, it got covered by other stories. Things changed and people just are without. Well, it might actually be useful this time. Um, Flint is like an example. What's up? Is he? No, 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 I'm just asking. Oh, nothing. Oh. Super shower. Oh, okay. What are you up to? What? Oh, okay. That sounds good. Oh, my head is starting to hurt. I need to drink some more caffeine or something. Mmm. Wow. That's enough to kill him, huh? I don't think that explosion got any kind of. Benefit. This run is dog shit. Just in case anybody at home watching hasn't realized. But this is not an example of a great run. Take that, I guess. I was gonna buy the Abyssal Tentacle, but it's not good enough. And I don't have any of the things that, or steal it. I'd rather keep my curse down to three or four or whatever. Though I do think I dropped the Huntsman. Dude, this, this uh, Lich fight is going to suck. If it's gonna be a um, flawless, it's going to be a rough flawless. No leg god, no. <laughs> this, this run following the last one, that's hilarious. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, might as well use this 40. So big. those explosive ones, doesn't it? It's okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's it. Nice. Did the baby good mimic murder that other guy? He must have, right? My dodge rolls have been pretty, pretty rough <laughs> this turn. And I hit that one guy with so many roll bombs. Extra blank is good, especially for the Lich, which I am not prepared for. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do, actually. It's fine, because it's not, not the intended. Action. <laughs> Almost just stood there and freaking took it. Do you guys remember Amadou Diallo? That was a gentleman in uh, New York in like maybe 2002, 2003. I can't actually remember when it was, but it was uh, early 2000s. Um, he was stopped by the police. Dude, I have to go back through this fucking room again. Um, 
stopped by the police. He reached uh, to pull out his wallet. He doesn't speak English. Um, reached to pull out his wallet, and the police shot him uh, 32 times or something like that. Um, and, you know, he died from being shot 32 times. Uh, when that happened, a bunch of uh, a bunch of rappers got together and released an album in his on honor. Uh, and there were a lot of you know, I don't know if there were like protests in the street, but there were a lot. There's a lot of talk, a lot of uh, people did a lot of things in order to try to right the situation through the normal channels, through protest, through discussions. Nothing happened at all, period. Uh, the officers that murdered Amadou Diallo, they didn't face any punishment. Uh, and that just, it just keeps fucking happen, happening. Trayvon Martin, I think his name was, uh, was killed by the police and nothing was done. Um, the police officer was like, I think, sentenced to five years in prison for killing, for walking into uh, a man's house and murdering him. Just five years. He has no he has no years left on earth. Uh, she has five years in prison and then everything goes back to normal. And uh, she probably gets to keep her job as a police officer afterwards. Um, it's a, a sick and broken system that needs it's going to take, uh, take hardcore fundamental full on uh, change it's, it's going to have to go uh, it's going to have to be changed in a ground up way like Dude, what the fuck is going on with this run? Stop hitting me. No backup health. Okay. Well. I think first phase is going to have to be these little b bad boys because they're the only thing that deal the kind of damage I need. Little baby good mimic, you can get a little closer if you don't mind. Be very helpful. The storm is really coming down. That's awesome. Oh lord, this is not going quickly. I don't know what I have for phase two. I know what I have for phase three though. It seems like so few. Oh, I gave up one heart, okay. Six, six. Did not lead God because the. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Mistake I made. Oh, fuck. Okay. Have to blank there. That was weird how it, uh. The timing on that. Giving up. Dude, his bullets are really fucking with me. High caliber, high caliber, high caliber. High caliber, high caliber, high caliber. As soon as I get invincibility, we're going to use the high caliber.
I can't pick them up when I'm invincible. Or when I'm intangible. That's good shit, game. That's real good shit. I'm gonna call Fooey and Horse Hockey. Or whatever you say on that one. Still got around to it. He, made, he gave us a pretty ideal situation with that, uh, that pizza slice attack. The Pac Man. We got a Lich Flawless. We're at 398. Sliding close to four. Never did get that heart synthesis though. Oh well, good job me. 